Uh, Terrell, first off, the week's in the books. How do you think you performed during the practices? I think I performed really well to my standard, you know. Uh, there's a lot of stuff I still need to get better at, but seeing the plays and everything, new position, everything for the first time, I felt like I adjusted really well to it. What's it like to get the feedback from these NFL coaches and, and adapt to a new system? I mean, you got to be like a kid in a candy store. Yeah, it feels good. I felt refreshed, you know. My self-esteem is high right now. Uh, you know, they say I did pretty good. It feels good. There's a lot of comparisons being thrown out there between you and a fellow by the name of Darius Leonard. But I want to ask you, who do you like to watch in the NFL? Is there a backer you want to really model your game after? Uh, I like I like to watch Darius Leonard. He's a great guy. Him and Jalen Smith. You know, I like Jalen Smith, how he runs. I like to really honestly model my game after him. He's a sideline to sideline linebacker. How did you prepare for this week? Where were you working out? Where were you grinding? Uh, I was at Exos LA. I was with uh, Chris Claiborne, and I was just going with him, doing board work, training at LA and Exos. What's the aspect of your game that you're trying to improve the most on leading up until the combine and the draft process? Show that I'm an all three down linebacker. I can play sideline to sideline, and I can adjust well to my defense. Thoughts on maybe some unexpected challenges you ran into this week that you weren't expecting at the time? Anything difficult that you uh, came across? Unexpected challenges? Yeah. Only thing that, you know, was unexpected was, you know, you know, uh, being able to tell players what the play was, you know, change the hit. Call Michigan, money back. It was not that big. Ron Higgins, Michigan. Well, in the game, that's the best one in my face. The Memphis kid, that's the best. That's the best one in my face. Are you um, so, able, to, uh, 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 able to? How are you able to manage kind of the highs and lows uh, throughout this? Several month process. You know, there's certainly going to be some ups and downs and what you read and everything. How, how have you handled it so far? Where do you feel today? Um, I was able to handle it really well. Um, you know, I tell myself these three virtues that will stick with me forever. I will prevail. I will stay calm. And I will move forward. That's how I was able to get through this week. How important was I, I, I'm, I'll preface this by saying I personally think you played really well today and and had had a very good week. How important was that for you to, to, to go out here and, and handle yourself against folks from larger quote unquote power programs? It was very important. It was, it was not only I was representing the name on the back of my jersey, but I was representing my school, New Mexico State, and everyone back in Las Cruces, the whole community. You know that an under the radar kid can play with any guys out here. All it takes is all work and discipline. Is it tough to be playing at a school without a conference? It's tough. It is tough. You get a lot of naysayers about I can't play or we're not the best component. But, you know, it is tough. Did you uh, talk to the Chicago Bears at all this week in the song? I talked to Mr. Shivers. He was really good. Really, really well. What kind of questions did you have to answer? Uh, what type of kid I was. He wanted to know what type of person I was. It went well. Thank you. Throughout, what was it like playing in this game for you here all week long? Yeah. You share with us your experience. It was fun, honestly. You know, you growing, growing up and watching these guys being talked about through college and then actually being on the same stage as them at the most prestigious bowl game in America, you know, it, it feels really good. Really good. You feel like you helped yourself out here uh, this week and in the game? Yeah, most definitely I did. You know, I was able to take different coaching and apply it to my game. So, where, where do you go from here? You know, you got the combine coming on up. What will you be doing now after this, getting ready uh, for everything else? As soon as I land in L.A., I'm right back to Exos, right back to the work. And I got the combine in March. Thank you very much. Thank you. You've put on just some unbelievable tape that I've watched. Um, what was your favorite game that you played in this year so far? Ooh, that's a good question. I'd say my favorite game 
would be the BYU game because I'm coming off my ankle injury. I have to say that. Absolutely. And, of course, you know, with all the new athletic linebackers coming into the NFL, I feel like you fit the, the mold. Who is, if you have one, who would be, like, your comparison to your game? Jalen Smith. Jalen Smith? Yes, sir. Jalen Smith. And uh, real quick, have the Rams met with you at all? Yes. Yeah. All right. I appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you. What like what is it like coming from Frank Spaziani's defense? That's a big leg up running a pro scheme like you are. Oh yeah. You know, with Frank Spaz, he's a great leader, a great teacher. I love his defense, you know. A coach like that, he he he's very you know, he's a Hall of Fame coach. He coached guys like Luke Keekley and he always preached disciplined players and running to the ball. That's that's the type of mindset I have coming under Frank Spaziani. We can't wait to see you on Sunday, Terrell. Thank you very much.